Take me to the water to be baptized in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. To be baptized. Take me to the water. Take me to the water. Take me to the water. To be baptized. Amen. That's a song that in many churches says that candidates, you know, like if you have several, as they kind of march down the aisle of the church to get to the baptistry, they sing that. And as our church grows and we have more people, we have our own baptistry, we're going to do that. I like that. Amen. The Word of God declares, we all know it, Acts chapter 2, verse 38, on the day of Pentecost, the question was asked, what shall we do? And the answer came back from Peter, strong and clear. Repent and be ye baptized. Be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you and to your children, to them that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. There's no magic in the water, but there's power in the name. Amen. It's, we're not preaching a works message. This is not a message of you're saved by works. You're saved by grace through faith. But faith without action is dead being alone. James, the Apostle James says in the second chapter of the book of James, and God himself has prescribed the response that we are to give to our faith. You know, a lot of people want to tell you, you're saved this way, you're saved that way. Well, the Word of God makes it abundantly clear what we must do. And if we're going to walk in total obedience and have a clear conscience before God, then we need to follow the Lord's example. We need to get into the waters of baptism, put our fears and our anxieties aside. I've known people that wouldn't be baptized because they were anxious about being in water. Honey, if that's all I had to do to be saved, I'd get over it for three or four minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, But we're, tonight we're an apostolic church. We preach baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Sean, this is a brand new day, honey. This is a brand new day. After today, the word of God sent for as many of you as are baptized. Hold on, I'm up. Woo, glory. said as many of you as are baptized into Christ have put on Christ. And you start a brand new life at baptism. Your record is clear before the Lord. And from that day forward, I like to explain to people, you've been scotch guarded. <laughs> if you know what that is, scotch guard is a chemical they apply to cloth, you know, to sofas and what have you. And it doesn't allow anything that would make dirty to stick. So you can just clean it up with a damp cloth. And the Word of God tells us once we've obeyed the Lord and we receive remission of sin, the Word of God promises if we sin, all we have to do is confess our sin. And He is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Okay, so now we're going to go down in. You ready, kids? All right, I have no idea how cold or hot this is.
that you would make this a memorable and special occasion for Sean. For this is the day that we settle our debt. And Master, in the name of Jesus, moved by your Holy Ghost in this place, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Sean, now, you need to have a hold your hands over your mouth. Kind of just cup it over your nose. There you go. And I'm going to ask you those two questions, right? Don't pinch your nose. You're going to sound like Donald Duck. <laughs> 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 You entered these waters freely and of your own accord today to be baptized. Amen. Do you believe today that Jesus Christ was born of the Virgin Mary, lived a sinless life, died on the cross of Calvary, rose again the third day, and will one day return for his church? Amen. Sean Allen Davis, upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. Oh. 